Hi grandbabies, how are you? This is Grandma Little with another book. And I want to read it to Julia and to Lana. And this is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar, Caterpillar by Eric Carlisle. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little lay, egg lay on a leaf. See the teeny little egg there, right there, in the light of the moon. And that's the little egg. It's going to turn into a caterpillar. On a sunny morn day, morning, the warm sun, wait, on Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny, very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still very hungry. There's Monday. See the apple? You can see all these other things, but we haven't gotten to them yet, too. So that's an apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. One, two, two pears. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. One, two, three. One, two, three. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. One, two, three, four. Four strawberries. One, two, three, four. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. One, two, three, four, five. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Wow, chocolate cake, an ice cream, a pickle, Swiss cheese, there's already holes in that, but he ate another one, salami, a lollipop, cherry pie, what is that, a sausage, a cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again, and the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. See the leaf? He ate the leaf. Too much junk food will make you have a tummy ache. But if you eat leafy vegetables, you might feel better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. He wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. Too much sweets can make you big and fat, too. But this is what he needs to do. So, he built a small house called a cocoon around himself, and he stayed inside for more than two weeks. See the cocoon? That's the cocoon. There's a big hungry caterpillar. He's big now, not little. And he, then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out and he was a beautiful butterfly. And that's the story of the Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carlisle. I hope you liked that story. That was one of my favorites to read to your mommy, Jenny, and your daddy, Ryan, when they were little. And I'm sure that, that Adam, your dad, Lana, and Kira, your mom, probably, uh, Julia probably read it when they were little, too. Anyways, I love you. Can't wait to see you guys. Bye.